This is a quick video to show you how to draw parametric equations as graphs. Go into the graph mode in the menu by selecting graph with these different arrow parts. We've already got a graph in there, this is a Cartesian equation, so I want to delete that one first, otherwise it's going to appear on my parametric graphs. So just pressing delete and yes, I'll delete that one. Now, we need to change the type of graph that it's drawing. It's under this one, type, press F3, get various different options, and of course we have parametric. So pressing that one, you'll notice that on the left it changes to XT1, YT1, and so on. The ones are indicating this is for graph number one, the T's are telling you that it's parametric. So we've got graph one, two, and three displayed on there. Then all you need to do is enter the equation for your parametric graph uh, using this button, x theta t, it's going to take the, the t rather than the x's, and we can then enter our equation. So let's go with something like 2t squared minus 3 and t minus 2. Press enter to store it in, and then draw to draw the graph. Now as we can see, it's only drawn a very, very small part there, that's because of the um, uh, axes that I had set up previously. So I'm going to zoom out a bit, let's zoom out, and let's zoom out again. And we can see it's starting to draw something there, obviously it's coming quite low in the y-axis, so I can then use the view window to play around and get something that looks a little bit better. So let's maybe only go up to about 5. And there's our graph. Still not very good, so again we just keep on playing around until we get something that looks a bit better. There we go, that's looking a bit better. But as we know with parametric graphs of this type, there should be a part coming down here. It's only drawing half of the graph, essentially. And this is something that's in the view window that we haven't seen before. And that's shift, view window. You've got your x and y, but if you actually scroll down, it will also show you what t is doing. So here it's just calculating t from 0 to 10. The pitch is how often it calculates, so it's calculating every 0 0.1 value. So it'll do 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and so on. I'm going to change these so that t goes from minus 10 to 10. I'll leave the pitch at that. and We should now see that it draws a bit more of the graph, so we've got a more accurate picture there. When you've worked out how to draw parametric graphs, you can draw some quite interesting patterns. So here's just one for you. x is 11 sine 4t cos t. y is going to be 11 sine 4t sine t. And I'm going to go straight into the view window, and I'm going to have x going from minus 20 to 20. I'm going to have my y going from minus 10 to 10. And I'm in degrees. I want t to go from 0 to 360. And I'm going to do a pitch of 3. So it's just going to calculate every 3 degrees. Storing that in and drawing the picture. And we get a lovely flower. 